It seems inevitable that Britney Spears' younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, would also become wrapped up in the pop star's conservatorship drama. We'll have to wait until Jamie Lynn's book comes out to get the facts straight, but it was even recently reported that Britney is the rightful owner of some of her family's real estate, including Jamie Lynn's Florida vacation condo. Or at least, that's what they're saying. In this video, we're going to take a look at the properties Jamie Lynn has been calling home over the years from Mississippi to Tennessee and everywhere in between. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jamie Lynn Spears is an actress and singer best known for being Britney Spears' younger sister as well as for her starring role on the Nickelodeon series Zoe 101, playing the main character. Jamie Lynn thrived in this role from 2005 to 2008 and the abrupt ending of the show disappointed fans. I was one of them, I remember. After announcing she was having a baby at age 16, most assumed this was the reason behind Zoe 101's cancellation. Either way, after she became a mom, Jamie Lynn opted to live outside of the limelight and far away from Hollywood. While these days she's acting and working in showbiz once again, Jamie Lynn has lived in rural areas of Mississippi, then moving to Tennessee and most recently back to her childhood home state of Louisiana. At the time of this recording, Jamie Lynn has amassed a net worth of about $6 million and she also claims that none of that money was from Britney. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one seeing the homes of Jamie Lynn Spears. I'm trying to get to 500,000 subscribers over here and we're kind of close so if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. If we look at an aerial or map view of one of Jamie Lynn's first homes when striking out on her own, it was seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Back in 2010, around the same time she broke up with her ex and first baby daddy Casey Aldridge, Jamie Lynn had listed their rural Mississippi spread for a whopping $250,000. Pear bought the five acre property in 2008, and it was located in Liberty, Mississippi, just up the road from Aldridge's parents, and not too far from Grandma Spears' abode in Louisiana. Once Jamie Lynn and her daughter decided to move in with her mom in Kentwood, Louisiana, this farm like home came up on the market. A long driveway passes through a ton of trees and leads to the main house, which boasts a wide front porch like any typical country home would. And inside, the house boasts 2,258 square feet of space with three bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and a bonus sleeping space tucked up in the attic. The gated property had a basic front yard free of any landscaping, and the home itself was built in an Acadian style, which traditionally means it has a steep sloped roof along with one or one and a half stories of living space within the floor plan. A red front door led inside to the main area of Jamie Lynn's formal home, where a foyer had a wood beam ceiling, mismatched flooring, and an open air feel. This common space stretched from the front door all the way to the back of the home, while the main living area boasted hardwood flooring, eight paned windows, and a fireplace. Photos from listing materials at the time when Jamie Lynn sold the home are decidedly dated. However, it was over a decade ago, so we can assume it's changed a little bit since. The kitchen and casual dining area offered beige tile floors, large windows, custom cabinets, and red walls that match the walls in the master bath. The home was unfurnished when photos were taken, so it really doesn't make the place look very welcoming, but you get the idea. In fact, those red kitchen walls and curtains are the very same ones in the background of the photo shoot Jamie Lynn did with Casey and their newborn at the time for OK Magazine. So you can tell that's definitely the same house. The doors and windows in the main level look out to the grounds and the surrounding barn structures, but aside from that, there's really not much to look at in either the front or the backyard. What we do know is Jamie Lynn's former home had bonus outbuildings in the property, such as a 40 by 40 horse barn and a workshop which was slightly smaller. Also in the backyard, there was a building used as a shop office with a half bath attached to the main home by a breezeway and elsewhere a corral or two. While Jamie Lynn isn't too pretentious with her properties by the looks of it, even she deserved better than this place. 
Well, that or these photos just totally don't do the home justice. At the same time as Jamie Lynn unloaded that Mississippi farmhouse, she embarked on a new journey, moving to Nashville, Tennessee full time with her daughter. The star wanted to get back into showbiz, choosing to pursue a career in country music. Jamie Lynn said, I really just merged myself into the community. I was writing songs five days a week, meeting writers, guitar lessons, singing lessons. I wasn't really there to record an album or become a country singer. Public records state that Jamie Lynn purchased this much larger home in the neighborhood of Brentwood, Tennessee in April 2010, the same month she sold the other place. The purchase price when Jamie Lynn moved in is unknown, but we do know she sold it in 2013 for $700,000, and now its estimated value is at over $1.3 million. This was a definite step above from her old home, a custom-built luxury estate full of upgrades throughout. The home boasted over 6,200 square feet of space, as well as five bedrooms and six baths. The expansive house was ideal for Jamie Lynn, and there was an open floor plan full of natural light and a family-friendly feel to the place. The exterior and landscaping here were also more aesthetically pleasing than her former abode, and once walking through the front door, past the cover stone porch, there was a double height entryway with hardwood floors and a chandelier. To one side, there was a modestly sized living room with blue accent walls and a fireplace, one of three fireplaces in the home. Another one could be found in the formal dining room, while the last one was in the great room. Aside from the fireplace with a flat screen TV above, the great room had soaring ceilings and sunny windows, while the attached kitchen looked lived in, but still upscale, with high grade appliances and plenty of space for a growing family. The master suite was also located on the main level of the house, while the spacious upstairs bedrooms were dedicated to the children and guest rooms. We can see there was also a spacious playroom on the upper level of the boat that actually comes up on Pinterest as a photo claiming it's actually Jamie Lynn Spears' house. There was even a spacious basement level that could double as an in-law suite, which also had its own bonus fireplace. Since that Brentwood home, Jamie Lynn is now married to her current spouse, Jamie Watson, and the pair have another daughter. It's said that the family has moved from Tennessee back to Jamie Lynn's home state of Louisiana and currently reside there, but her exact home here is unknown. Before I wrap up this house tour, let's talk about this Florida condo drama between Jamie Lynn and Brittany. It all began in 2001 when Brittany and Jamie's respective ages were about 20 and 11. Pop star needed a break, so like any hardworking celeb, Britt purchased a vacation home. According to May 2009 conservatorship filings, the beachside condo she bought was part of a two tower complex and cost $920,000. In 2021, when the home was adjusted for inflation, the price of the property would be valued at $1.4 million. Brittany wasn't seen at the condo very often, which is located in Destin, Florida, but in April 2005, she took a photo standing on her balcony with a few other people. Her then husband, Kevin Federline, her bodyguard, and Jamie Lynn. By the looks of it, Brittany was open to her little sister enjoying the condo. In recent years, Jamie Lynn and her family have been retreating in Florida a lot. The former Nickelodeon star has mentioned a condo many times in the past, telling CMT News in 2016 that she was pretty blessed to have a beachfront property as a place to work on her music and relax. Jamie Lynn explained, I host everyone at our condo. It can sleep about 10 people. We all have breakfast together. I plan a big dinner and we have a space at the beach. And when we write, there's no pressure and no timeline. So the songs just kind of fall out. It's hard to call that work. After the rumors started swirling that it was in fact Britney's destined condo, Jamie Lynn stays adamant that that's simply not the case. Jamie Lynn took to Instagram to say, I don't own a condo and I can assure you that no one has ever bought me a place at the beach because I prefer my beach vacations at the Ritz anyway. All right, so now we've seen where Jamie Lynn Spears calls home, so I think we can bring this house tour to an end. We've caught some glimpses into her Florida vacation life as well as her former homes in Mississippi and Tennessee. While it's said that Jamie Lynn and her family have relocated back to Louisiana, those other properties definitely look familiar. Out of the homes we saw, what did you think? And do you think Jamie Lynn is using Britney's condo? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!